Okay. I'm going to zoom in just on the pictures and just focus on the pictures and the concept. So that's what I'm focused on, though. Okay, so here it shows an equation, and it says that if you multiply EA times EB, it will equal DE times EC. Can you zoom out? Nope. Okay. So if this was 3 and 4, and this is 2 and 6, then you should be able to say that 3 times 4 equals... 2 times 6, and that's how the equation works, and 12 does equal 12. When we do these in the homework, we're going to be solving for x. I understand that you say what Okay, it's just I just posted it on, your, on the... Uh, oh my gosh, Logan, uh, Logan, can you be quiet, please? Appreciate it. Okay, the next one. So it has an equation right here. I'm going to fill in some numbers. Let's make this 5 and 13, 6 and 9. So we're going to multiply, write this down, seriously. Okay, we're going to multiply this segment by the entire length and this segment by the entire length. So it'll be 5 times 18, because 5 plus 3 is 13 is 18, and then 6 times 15. 5 times 18 is 90, and 6 times 15 is 90. I'm making them up. Yeah, but just so you have an example, because remember, you might be able to use this on the test. So, if you have an example, you know what I'm saying? Last one right here, it's, we can square this length, and that's equal to EC times the entire length. So if EA was six, EC is two, and CD is 16. And 2 times 18 is 36. Okay, so those are like the equations we're going to be using. And now we're going to flip over to the workbook 10 7. Now I'm going to see that. Okay, it starts out really easy. We're just going to do all the easy ones first. Um, number one is going to be 3 times x equals 6 times 7. And then we can solve for x. 3x equals 42. We're going to repeat this for the next few problems. It's going to be 6 times x Yeah, it's 18 times x and then 15 times 12. Okay, while we're on this skill, we're going to practice the ones on the back on this. So just flip over to the back. We're going to do the top three there. So one, two, and three. So it's just 5 times x equals 11 times 11. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
Okay, so we're gonna flip up. So those are the easy ones. Now we're gonna flip over to the other side and look at some of the harder ones. I don't know, you might find them hard, you might not find them easy. Okay, so on this page, we're not gonna do all of them. We're gonna do number four, we're gonna do number six, we're doing seven and eight. So if you wanna like cross out five and nine, it'll give you a little bit more room to solve stuff if needed. I know, they're kind of long. Um, the concept's easy. It's the factoring and stuff that gets kind of hard. You won't have to factor on your own, but leaving it out would be a disservice to those that are going into like algebra two. It serves as a review of factoring from algebra. So number four, the concept is you're taking this segment length, which is x, and multiplying by this whole segment length, which is x plus four equals, then you're gonna take five and multiply it by the whole thing, 12. Where'd I get 12 from? Five plus seven is 12. x times x is x squared, and four times x is four x equals 60. Now with this x squared and the x that's just by itself, we can't just solve for x like we normally would. We're gonna have to factor it. Um, we're gonna start by subtracting 60 from both sides and getting this whole thing equal to zero. So x squared plus four x minus 60 equals zero. quadratic from algebra. Okay, so what we're going to do next is factor this. We're going to set up the two parentheses and put an x here and an x here. Then we need two numbers that multiply to negative 60 that add to 4, and those two numbers are 10 and 6. So I'm going to do x plus 10 and x minus 6. Now, if this is equal to zero, then one of these has to equal zero. So we're gonna set both of these equal to zero and solve for x. And I get two answers, x minus 10 and x equals six. Um, in this situation, it can't have like a negative distance. Like that length has to be a positive. So, it's six. X equals six is your answer. That's so complicated. I'm sorry. You won't have to do it on your own, but I'm just reviewing it. If you get these on the homework, it'll be one of the problems that we're doing together. Okay, number six, we're gonna do this again. Why is it blurry there? Okay, number six, same concept, we're doing five times this whole length, five times 18 equals x times x plus nine. What's that? Did you get 18 Correct, it's this length right here times the whole thing. Then I'm going to subtract 90 from both sides to get this equal to zero. X squared plus nine X minus 90 equals zero. Now we're going to factor this. So put an X here and here. Two numbers that multiply to negative 90 that add to nine would be 15 and negative six. So x plus 15, x minus six. And then we'll set both of these equal to zero. It does, it is six again. X equals negative 15 and x equals six. Negative doesn't work in this situation, so it's just x equals six. Um, depending on the situation. 
like below sea level you can have negative or but distance you can't have negative you can't travel a negative distance you can travel a negative direction but not a distance yeah. unless you time travel you can figure that out I don't know okay um, those are the hardest ones so now seven and eight are relatively easy focus there we go Okay, so in this situation, it's going to be this length squared. So x squared equals 8 times 18. 8 times 18 is 144. Since it's just x squared and you don't have, like, plus 2x, in this case, you can just take the square root of both sides. So x equals 12. And number eight is the same idea. We're going to do six squared equals two times this whole length. Two plus x plus six. So six squared is 36. Um, I'm going to combine like terms before I distribute the two. So this will be x plus eight. Two plus six is eight. And then Distributing the two, it'll be two times x and two times eight. Two x plus 16. Yeah, x equals 10. And then we're gonna do a couple more on the back. So we're going to do number four and number eight. So you can just cross out number six and use that room if you need to. Okay, so number four is one of the ones where we're factoring again. So let's just practice it one more time. We're going to do 10 times the whole distance. So it'll be 10 times 18 equals x times the whole distance, x plus 3. Get 180 equals x squared plus 3x. We'll subtract 180 from both sides to get it equal to 0. By the way, Miss Willits used to teach geometry honors, and she used to require all of her honor students to be able to do this. So if you're an honor student, keep that in mind that you should be able to do this. So we're going to factor this out. 2 numbers that multiply to negative 180 that add to 3 would be 15 and 12 negative 15 or positive 15 negative 12 The reason why I chose positive 15 negative 12 is that would add to positive 3 and not negative 3 And then once you have these factors set them equal to 0 This one can't be an answer, so it's just x equals 12. And number 8, we're going to do, it's x squared equals 20 times 45. Squared equals 900. Take the square root of both sides and you get x equals 30. And then there's one we're going to draw out just because it's similar to the ones that you'll get on the homework. So on the homework, you'll either get these exact problems or you'll get ones that are simple. Like I know there's some of these that aren't on the paper that are on the homework. Another one that you might get would look like this. Just draw a circle. Draw the angle. And then the links we're going to fill in are 5, 6, and 8. And let's say this is labeled DF. And it'll say, what's the length of segment DF? In that situation, you would just like fill in an X. And then you can do what we've been doing. It'll be 5 times 
5 plus x equals 6 times 14. Then you would solve 5 times 5 and 5 times x would be 25 plus 5x equals 84. And you get x equals 11.8. And that's it. Okay, so you'll have the rest of the time to work on your homework. If you finish homework, work on Khan Academy.